Hi everyone, welcome back to our tutorial lesson 6. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to get the data from the server by using our URL, which means in the originally, we can first press our article car and this state will pass to the view article.js. But however, most of the user directly input the URL and when the user input the URL in the view article.js, there's no state to reference. And that's why after if the state is not contained, then the system will go in to cache the data from the server and load it on the view article page. Okay, go back to the view article.js. And in the previous lesson, we have handled it how to use the past state to generate our article content. However, we haven't handled what if if the user only inputs the URL on the browser. So we have add the else statement in here. In the else block, we're going to handle these situations. So we create the new method called get article by ID and this method we will pass the state which is the prompts.id which is the URL ID. So after we pass the state we will fetch the data from the Firebase file store. So we create this method and we pass the article ID in here. In here we're going to using our Firebase system. So we need to import our Firebase here. So to do that, we can import Firebase from our config folder. So we go back to the SLC folder. Oops. So we go to SLC folder and find our config folder and our firebase.js. Okay, so also we also need to import our DB object. So we input DB object from the firebase.file store so that we can call the file store method to get data. Okay, so in the get article by ID method, we first enter db.collection and we set the collection path to articles and we set the document which is the same of the article id and we set get method and we have the then and we see the document here so we first need to check whether this document is exist. So we set document is exist. If the document is, is exist, which means the document have the data. So we set the state article to the dos dot data. Make sure you have dot data method here. Otherwise, you didn't receive the JSON file in here. We just receive the query snapshot. And also we call the set state again to set the is loaded state to true. So after is loaded set to true and our system will generate our content. So else we let else here if the document is not exit so we go back to the home page which means this article is not exit or the user didn't have the permission so we will go into handling these permission problems later so we set the path link to stash okay so let's see what happened so we go back to our website. So after we click our article card, our article is printed on this page. 
But what if we copy this URL and go to another tab and press enter? So you can see you can see the first item is loading on the top here and then we load the article information from this page which means if the state we haven't passed it to the view article.js this article.js will going to first get the article id from the path and using this article id to fetch the data from the firebase file store and load the data in this view article.js okay how after we finish this part in the next part i will teach you how to modify for the uh, featured image which according to the firebase file store data so in our code our featured image is hard coded which the featured image is not referenced to the document from the firebase file store so we need to modify this code into reference to the article dot features image. So we go back to our Firebase console and you can see our article have have the attribute called features image. All the image in our website are just hard coded. And that's why we need to add the field called features image in each article document. So we use the surface called pack sum we, we can edit we can set the width and the height on the image and we can set the random number of this image and we will get the exact image the same of the image so we can edit this id and we can set the width and height we will generate our image so we first go to our firebase and add the attribute called feature image and we set the random URL here and this article we set feature image and we change the ID here otherwise all the article have the same image so we set uh, let's say this one and we also set this one called feature image and this time we set the ID to 100 uh, something okay so okay we go back to our code okay first step we need to change our article card.js because the pasteholder is just here the hard coded so we change the SLC in here so we know that our article object has the object build Call feature image so we change this path into article oh sorry it should be props dot data dot feature image because props dot data is the article itself and we set the feature image which means we get the value we just added it and we will make this value as the SLC for the card image object so we go back to the view article again so we also need to change this slc attribute here we change the attributes into this dot state dot article dot feature image which is the same reference as the five bay five store for the attribute called feature image so we save again to see what happened okay so we go back to our browser here so we refresh again so you can see this image is from our file base attributes not just the page holder we are uh, we are just hard coded so after we click this image we can see our real article page is here and we can also open the new tab and see whether our article is getting well and you can see the article the same image is the same of the article from the home page it is because we are referring the same url of this image so in the next lesson i will teach you how to edit our article to update our article 
update our image and update our title and update our content. Curiosity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.